What's up, Goddess Gang? Today we are back with another video. Today is actually is today Thursday the eighth, and you guys, I have videos for you guys. But before I upload those, I just wanted to get on here and upload like a video that's in real time because those videos were previously recorded and voiced over like a week ago. So how are you guys doing? I'm doing all right and happy. Well, it's not summer yet, but it feels like summer. The heat has stricken. So happy quote unquote summer or pre summer. I'm filming from a different phone today because for some reason my phone will not connect to the adapter. <sighs> it's giving me a hard time. It's pretty sad, honestly. But I'm not going to let it get me down. So cheers. Do you guys have your coffee? Because I do. And I'm going to have a sip. This is Starbucks Mocha, which is my second favorite. Hold on, you guys. <coughs> Oof, girl. My first favorite is Folgers Black Silk. I really love that one. It's a dark. This one is dark, too, but it tastes really like chocolate, so it's so good. I could literally drink so much of it, but I don't. But anyways, um, so how are you guys doing? I feel like my week has been so crazy. I'm going to put on a couple of bracelets. Um, I have felt, like, perplexed. That's how I would describe it. I would describe it as perplexed. Uh, I have felt, it's like, I haven't felt like overwhelmed, but I've been having a lot of challenges that were unforeseeable and, or that were like, it was like, I really had to decide, do you deal with this or do you just like move on and let it go? And I've tried with like just moving on and letting stuff go, but I find that you typically end up having to deal with it regardless. So I've been trying to just deal with stuff like as it comes my way. And that has been perplexing. So that's a little bit of the explanation for my absence on my channel. But you guys are going to see on the videos that I'm uploading later that I have to edit like immediately. And I'm not going to bed until all of them are up, you guys. I promise. I'm a, I don't care if I got to take a nap right now on this video. No, I'm just kidding. Anyways, um... <laughs> So, I have just been really focusing, and I feel like I have so much inside of here, and I'm just trying to figure out how to translate it into this reality and create magic on this planet. Um, I am super, super the real reason why I'm even doing this video. I'm so excited, you guys, because I'm going to be doing my now room tour. Okay, so... I don't know. Maybe I need to. I wish I could like keep up with my videos. That's why I need an editor. <laughs> um, because if I had an editor, I would be like, "Hey, can you go pull up that one video?" And they'll be like, "What video?" I'd be like, "Uh, I don't know. You gotta watch them until you find it." But it was like a while back ago, and I told you guys, "Do you guys want me to do a nail room tour?" And I said, "I swear, if you guys just drop a comment right now, I'll do it." But I was a little capping. I said, <laughs> "I." I um, chickened out. That's what they call it. I chickened out. And I'm like a super obsessive freak or like a control freak. Um, and it's like everything has to be perfect. And I'm always like today I went through so much. It's not even funny. And I couldn't find everything I needed. And I probably have everything I need someplace where I know that I'll, I'll have it in a safe place when I need it. But I don't know where that is. <laughs> so, like, this is my life. And um, it evolved into that with this project with showing you guys my nail room tour again. Because it has changed so many times. Even though it's still only in one little section. It's not, like, in its own room. And I did tell you guys that before. And also, it's just not in the middle of, like, the other room that it was in the middle of. But it's still set up nearly the same however i'm updating the little boards that i have so that they look actually how they're supposed to which i'm gonna take videos and pictures of everything before like 
I do all those changes because I want you guys to see everything. And that's basically what I promised you guys. And that was the point that I was making about the video that I had made before. I told you guys, just drop a comment. And I'll show you my nail room. And I'm like, I feel so guilty. <laughs> but um, I definitely chickened out. <laughs> it's just because I want it to be a reflection of me. And I know that how it has been is just temporary because I have to make the best with the space that I have and stuff like that. But, yeah, so you guys are going to see that. Cheers, cheers, cheers. How are you guys feeling? I definitely need some comments, y'all. Y'all don't be feeling bad for me at all. Y'all be like, oh, she don't get no comments or no likes. That's on her. I be like, y'all, ill as fuck. <laughs> um, I'm so excited, though, because... Um, I'm hoping this weekend I will be able to sit in this room i already envision myself there because i'm gonna be getting paid to pet sit house sit and it's a lot of pets it's not going to be easy needless to say however i'm looking forward to being able to sit there and actually work on some of the projects that i have lined up for myself and that i have been putting off I wanted to put on some rings today and not the rings that I always wear, even though I always, <laughs> I love picking the same thing over and over. It's so terrible. No, like I always been like that. <laughs> we go out to eat. I told my boyfriend recently, he really did get me, bro. He got me. Nobody could ever get me like that, bro. Because I was like, dude, because he was like talking about getting breakfast and he's like, what do you want? And I was like, bro, we've been together so long. I was like, I'm sick of fucking telling you what I want. Like, get what I order all the time, you dummy. Literally, y'all. Sometimes you got to talk to people like that. If you don't agree with me, boo-hoo to you. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm capping. But anyways, no, but I really did say that to him. And he's like, and then he's like, la, 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 that he doesn't know what I like. And I'm like, oh, my God, I'm so sick of him. And then I'm like, okay, well. French toes, duh, because everyone who knows me knows that, you don't even have to know me to know that, <laughs> and I, that's why I be getting mad at him, so anyways, and then he got me, because I swear I never, I try to challenge myself to try different things, but I typically um, don't budge on French toes, like that's my thing, yeah, and so, <laughs> he's like, well, last time you got pancakes exposed, expose. <laughs> he won that one. I was like, dude, guys, you got to love him. <laughs> you got to hate him. I mean, nah, I'm just kidding. y'all. You really do got to hate them. I hate guys. <sighs> they like have the biggest, um, ego problem <laughs> i be like boy you on this earth I'm not in your feelings or in your ego you gonna get up out of them too please do oh this is my favorite ring <gasps> would you guys like to make rings with me Aww, I've been thinking about it I got my craft and stuff down there so when I do my nail room tour I'm not gonna be impulsive right now I'm gonna try to calm my nerves cause I almost got impulsive but when I do my nail room tour I'm gonna show you guys <laughs> I'm hyper. Okay, I got a lot to talk to you guys about, so cut the bullshit, right? Okay, cool. Um, that's much better. All right, so anyways, what was I talking to you about? Ugh, I'm distracting myself because I'm acting so stupid. So when I do my nail room tour, when I do my nail room tour, then I'm going to show y'all my stuff. And then when I show you my stuff, then I'm going to ask y'all if y'all want me to do some crafting online with y'all on live and if you want me to then i will because i've been thinking of streaming and i think i'm just gonna start telling my family like listen because i've been really um taking over <laughs> authority <laughs> what do they call that do i have something on my teeth huh? no i don't it just looks like it i'm like do i have something on my teeth mm. taking my power back from people who misuse and abuse misdirected or unguided freedom and power power and freedom 
Um, I got something under my nail. I've been having it under my nail all day. It must be makeup. I think it's eyeshadow because I didn't do anything else after I got out the shower. It's not like I cooked or anything. Alright, so how am I wasting y'all's lives? I'm so sorry. I really like, um, that's why I said I think I want to start going live because at least when you get on live, you know someone's going to waste your life. When you click on a movie, you don't really know they're going to waste your life. You'd be like, girl, why you, why you tell me sooner? I would watch this later. Hmm? I don't know. I'm just trying to be extra and see if I can find any more rings that I like or that I like instead of the ones that I chose. All right, I picked one that I liked instead. Y'all, I broke my um, cross. I don't know if my boyfriend knows. You can tell on one of my videos on YouTube, though. Oh, I broke it, and I'm so sad about that. But, oh, I also broke this. I broke this. I didn't do this on purpose. I didn't do either on purpose, but this, I was trying to... I was trying to, like, stretch it out, and then I just broke it, and I was like you're rude like can you get your own life please why so yeah that happened rude oh crap okay moving on did you guys take your vitamins today i am all right i'm gonna stop with this though i'll be back in one minute un momento okay guys i'm back i'm gonna set up my camera in a minute but until then i want to tell y'all that Ooh, have y'all ever had tres leches cake and um i think it comes in like what strawberry vanilla or chocolate Ooh, this one is strawberry and it is fucking amazing i gotta show y'all it's so good hold on Ooh, look at that look at that look at look 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 hold on wait Ooh, ooh, i knew it was gonna fall (laughs) okay hold on wait it's so good. God, please don't let it be a mess on the floor. Oh, good. It's not. It was right there. But I couldn't pass this up because I forgot it was in the fridge. Yes, I eat off the floor. Judge me, please. Where I come from, boy, girl, your booty be lucky to eat. (laughs) Mm -hmm. And I eat off the floor in a split second. That's one thing. I had my cousin Brian. He passed away. God bless his heart and his soul. And we were like, like this. And... (laughs) One time we were at some game. I don't know if it was like football or what. I think it was football in high school. And, um, or maybe it was like a track meet or something. I don't know. And y'all know those little, those ropes that have like the rainbow color and they got the sugar all over them. What are they called? Well, they come in like 12 inch strips or whatever. 10 inch strips somebody had dropped like a pack of them on the ground but like individual pieces not like a whole pack all together wrapped up (laughs) and I guess that's like one moment in my life where I could say that I really had like a oh my god this is my best friend moment (laughs) oh man which is rare I haven't had that in like a lot in my life Only two times. My cousin and my boo. Anyways, um, and my dad. <laughs> he don't count though, cause I hate him. No, I'm just kidding. Anyways, um, <clears throat> oh, so we were walking. I was like, oh my god, I dare you to pick one up and eat it. And he's like, I dare you to. I was like, if you do, I do. <laughs> and we both did. It was funny. And that was just the whole story. <laughs> Chills over, folks. Sorry. I'm so full, bro. I don't even know why I'm finishing this. 
and we even get a little candy cherry would you guys like to see me do mukbangs it's just that I don't really eat a lot I wouldn't really do like a mukbang really I would do like talking with my mouth full one of my favorite things to do believe it or not is talk with my mouth full <laughs> I don't know why it's so bad okay so oh we're doing voiceover oh, wait are we doing a voiceover I don't know what we're doing because I'm supposed to be doing this video for you guys to let you know I'm out rearranging everything hold on <laughs> to let you guys know what's been going on in my life so i just want to talk to you guys about mental health today oh yeah i remember i was talking about like ocd and stuff i want to talk to you guys about and like sensory overload i want to talk to you guys about um like i want to talk to you guys and tell you that my life is not perfect i would hate for anyone to ever think that um like today i was like girl you got obsessive compulsive like girl you crazy you really obsessed because like i have to clean everything when i get on these videos my house gets clean first like <laughs> i have to clean first and last week luckily you guys will see on the videos that i upload but i had someone help me with the housework but she's out this week or she has been <clears throat> well she was out last week at the end of last week and then this week and I've been adjusting and like adapting and I've been telling myself you can do it you can do it and I do like when someone else comes and does the cleaning um because they kind of just do it and like they move on and like I kind of can move on and I don't have to obsess over so much I feel like when I do it I feel like I find more stuff to do non-stop like and I've been trying to stop myself from that um but uh also like having hardships in my relationship I want to talk to you guys about that because mm, or like all relationships in general but in my relationship with my boyfriend uh, because we are we're coming out of the pandemic and he and I our relationship began in the pandemic so uh, well at the beginning of the before a little before the pandemic and we got to spend so much time together and now we're very busy and we're both hustling and we're trying to like make a way out of no way and we don't really get to have as much one-on-one -on -one time or like <clears throat> we don't really get to pay as close attention to each other as we normally would and I could say that that's kind of been causing like for me like some insecurity or more or less like Hold on. I just feel kind of like segregated or like lonely. I don't know. Well, I just feel like what if he forgets about me or what is he doing with his life? Like, I know he's working, but psychologically it's hard. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to do my nails today. I'm going to hang out with you guys. I'm still going to edit and everything and upload those videos. It's only, um, hold on I just want to have like a moment with you guys I did have a couple of moments with you guys in my videos that you guys are going to see too so you, I got you <laughs> um and let's see oh I gotta get a charger hold on so I thought my charger was ruined but it turned out my adapter didn't want to work with my phone I'm assuming because I haven't tried to charge it with the charger without the adapter yet. Or did I? I think I did. I think that's how I discovered that the adapter wasn't working. So let me see if I can charge my phone real quick. Oh. So I'm so sorry that sometimes when I talk, I don't... This is why I'm embarrassed to go live. <laughs> because I don't... <laughs> I don't always keep like I'm not always focused you know like I don't always sometimes I forget what I'm talking about <laughs> but mm, hold on. video video oh, 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 wow mm -hmm. okay 
got you. Ooh, 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 I didn't. I didn't tell you to record. I did not. Oh, you didn't record. What is you doing? Hold on, y'all. This is my life. Okay, don't worry. It's good. It's good. I'm just being dramatic because it's fun. It's like it's it's in character. <gasps> wow, that's not correct. <laughs> that's definitely not correct. You must go this way because. Oh, I see. No, you you go this way, but you come like. What the hell? Hold on, y'all. Don't judge me. This is the real life struggle. I feel like this is all I have to my. Now, do I like that view better? I almost. Hold on. Let me see. I have one. I'm not used to using this camera. B. Okay, hold on. I think, oh, I see what's happening. Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I like it like this. I like it like that. I wish you could jam out with um, Cardi up on here. Cardi, may I use your song on my... How the fuck am I going to record with my phone like that? That ain't how it's supposed to go. <laughs> that means I'm gonna have to move y'all to this side. Why is my life so bad right now? Um, yeah, no, me no likey that idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and crank it on up, crank it. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm I'm also just trying to make light of the struggles, cause like. I feel like the more that I low-key commit to this journey, the more this journey is like, I'm sorry, ma'am, what'd you say? You said you want to try me. You said you want to ride the ride today. And I'm like, uh, I just want to get in and get out, boo. I ain't got time for that. All right, I guess that's fine. What the hell? I don't know. I think I'm just tripping, ripping, ripping, ripping. Tripping, ripping, ripping, ripping. I'm <laughs> not just... Oh, it's because I have new lighting and I'm not used to it. Okay. All right. So you're going to come down a little. A little. And like this. Like this, like this. Okay. Like this, like this. Okay. All right. And I've been noticing that my camera don't want to focus correctly. Like, girl, what is your problem? You got an issue. Ooh. Ooh, sexy. Oh, good word. You can tell, can't you? Can you tell that I just fixed my lighting and it looks much, much? No, I'm just joking. Ooh. Okay, let me stop. <laughs> just unsubscribe. <laughs> All right, you guys. So, you know how, don't judge me for this, but it's just a random funny thought. I think it's hilarious. Okay, there we go. Um, you know how, like, when you're younger, you're in school. Oh, yeah, don't judge my nails, y'all. Don't judge my nails. Nah, I'm acting so stupid. I'm just so bored. Nah, I'm not bored. Um, oh, you know how when you're in school and everyone's like, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? And you're like, invisible. And you're like, love spell. Because you want your crush to like you and stuff. Well, guess what mine would be? Now that I'm an adult and I've had enough time to think about it, let me make sure my phone is charging. Hold on, y'all. Okay, it's, it's charging. It's okay. Um... My superpower would be I would never have to go to the bathroom. Now that's genius. Eh, got him. I gotta check and see where my boyfriend is because. <gasps> no! I hope you're not nearby. Oh, good. I was also to say, girl, it said he was down the street. That must have been from last night because, boy, you better go about your business today. I need to work. I ain't got time. All right. Woo! 
One of my nails is missing. <laughs> I need to get off of here. Y'all, I'm exposing myself. <laughs> I'm animated as F sometimes. <sighs> Sorry, y'all. I'm just doing what I was supposed to do before I got on camera. Because sometimes it's better to do it together. Together. Forever. I got me some money up in here, honey. What background should we use? I love this background. I love this background. I'm tired of using anything that's reflective. Um, I like the ones that are like semi-flat, but also not like this. Like this is semi-flat, but also not. I really like that. I think we're gonna go with that one and we can also pull out this one just in case. <laughs> All right, moving on. Yeah. So, oh, about my nail room. All right, so um, I have my backdrop set up, which you guys know because you see it. You see it. And just a little disclaimer. Hold on, y'all. Um, in my, one of my <laughs> videos that you guys are going to see later, the backdrop, you could see my blinds through the window. Um behind the backdrop because I didn't have uh, like a background beneath that one how the heck okay beneath that one or behind that one so that the light wouldn't come through so that was raggedy but um, I went and fixed that so that's not a problem anymore and I also bought other backdrops that I'm going to be trying out. So you guys can let me know how you like them. And oh, and I was so tired of my backdrop like falling because of the legs being like a webs, which you guys are going to see. I'm going to show you guys that. Oh, I know what I want to do on this video. I know what we're going to do. Never mind. Never mind. I know what we're going to do. I know what we're going to do, girl. Um, yeah, so I bought new ones that are not going to do that. Hopefully they won't fall, you know. But what we are about to do, we actually don't need this camera. And I'll keep you guys on. We are going to react to my nail room tour without further ado. What? Because I'm going to be doing my new nail room tour, I want to react to my nail room tour with you guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, I gotta yell at my daughter. Hopefully that works. All right, let's go to Scorpion Goddess Nails Nail Room Tour. Let's just search it and see what pops up. <gasps> Nail Room Tour. Okay, here it is. Are you guys ready? We gotta watch the ads. Hold on, y'all. Ready? Alrighty, here we go, y'all. This was one of my favorite intros. It was one of my original ones, too. Actually, I think it was my original one. Aw, so excited. You. This was when I had the whole room and my paintings were up. I don't have my paintings up anymore because hopefully I'm going to move. <laughs> hopefully. Look. Aww. Aww. Humble beginnings. SXC, y'all heard me, y'all gonna hear me talk about the SXC poly, poly gel kit. Oh yeah, Max series in the cut. <laughs> Paintings from my birthday. And me and my boyfriend. Charts, baby. And paintings by me. Back when I used to F with Makar, y'all. 
what's up you guys so today we are finally back with another video and this one is very very special i'm letting you guys what's up my hold on you guys that was before you guys were the goddess gang oh what's up you guys thank god i don't say that no more and by the way this was also before i got a professional mic so how you guys enjoying this tour so y'all see my pokey deck? me personally i love it you guys this video is so important to me because you guys just don't even understand like the struggle but the the success it's just it's so real so originally when i decided that i want to start doing nails it was in my closet and i have a fairly big closet but it does not have ventilation and it was a tiny tiny space to try to set up a nail desk and during the pandemic actually this little um table that you guys see me showing this is a TV stand. And originally when I went to Walmart, <laughs> I tried to go everywhere to get a desk for my nail desk. I couldn't find one because it was in the middle of the pandemic and all the kids were home from school. So they were using up all the desks. Well, I went and grabbed a TV stand and I made that my nail desk. I put it up on some two by fours and I caught it a day. But now I have this wonderful, amazing nail desk, which I actually love. I found this on the street, you guys. It's a little, it shows a little signs of wear and tear, but it gets the job done. It's comfortable and it's, it's actually the desk that I really wanted to buy. Dude, R.I.P. to Lisa. Is that Lisa? Who was that? Um, that uh, red iguana. I had Anna and Anna and uh, Anna Louis. Anna. Oh, don't even. Just whatever. I don't even care. But R.I.P. to her. I gave her away. Who did I give her? Away? I gave her away to my friend Sloan. Uh, not Sloan. <laughs> my friend Soul. Aww. I got my kids in here and me and my boyfriend and I got it for free one day so I'm just showing you guys like that little spin wheel is basically where I put all my essentials and then I have some of my gel like my IBD hard gel and I have my rhinestone glue there so these are just some like little necessities whenever I'm doing nails I also have all of my little backgrounds here for taking pictures at the end which I really love. I haven't used one of these in a while. I need to use them. They're so adorable. But I love showing you guys my room. Thank you so much. Bruh, some things never change, huh? For tuning into my videos. And I have got to tell you guys, thank you so much for all of you guys who have been subscribing. Every single time I come onto my YouTube, I have a different number of subscribers. And I'm just, I feel so blessed. I feel very thankful. I'm very happy. Like, literally, I have 61 subscribers. And I know that's nothing. Like, it's barely anything. But... I swear, me and my boyfriend were talking the other day. He's like, did you notice you have 50 subscribers? Because I was telling him that I'm doing a giveaway. And I'm like, oh, my God, yeah. And I was like, I totally noticed. I was like, and I thought about, like, you know, hey, saying, hey, I'm going to do this giveaway for 50 f subscribers. But I had already had the giveaway planned. So I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. Well, I go back on there a couple days later, and now I have, like, I had, like, 59 subscribers. And now I'm going on there now, and I have 61. So thank you guys so much. Here is my note. Hold on a second. First off, I'm talking talking fast as hell <laughs> secondly oh my gosh <laughs> can you believe that time goes by so fast this was a little over a year ago not even a year and a half ago polish rack and i love this rack you guys this and i don't even want to I'm not downplaying these brands like these model ones. They still are on a shelf. Um, some of them, not all of them, but all of this is model ones. Now I have all of those are Nail Reserve LA and Madam Glam. So when this video was filmed, I did not have I was not a brand ambassador. I have worked with like Amazon. Um, you know, testing products on Amazon. M Model Ones did work with me. That's how I got these products. A couple other brands here and there. But I did not have the ambassador status that I had developed over time. And it's just amazing how much can happen in such a small amount of time. And then also just looking back on how excited I was for like 50 subscribers, 60 subscribers. 
it's amazing it feels really good i'm happy to be reflecting <laughs> my nail room means so much to me because i have literally pieced it together if i do have the time uh, maybe not right away but in a blog post i'll actually go ahead and write it down now um to do a room tour i mean a room previous room pics i'll just put that um before and after all right i i feel like y'all really learn a lot about me like in the semantics on my channel because i still do that I stay writing stuff down all the time. Wrote that down, you guys. I'll show you guys how my nail room started out. I will go and I will dig up pick. Um, these are card grippers. Originally, I thought they were a solid idea, but the grip wasn't strong enough. Sometimes it would slip off the card. I don't really know if you guys would be interested in buying those or even winning them for giveaways, but I still have pretty much almost all of those maybe yes, a few of them i don't see and it just means so much to me because this place is set up like my little mini palace and it just makes me feel so good and here i have a whole bunch of nail tips nail forms my little um uh what do they call that the air compressor can you definitely need one of those here is my beloved mystery nail box that i've been telling you guys about mystery mystery nail art box I am going to be creating sets with this box. I had to tidy it up. This box is just so full. I need to buy a new one, but I got this one during Christmas season, so I got to wait a little while for a new one. Down here, I have some of my other supplies, my monomer, my um, acetone, my swipe, my alcohol, my little napkins, and over to the right, I mean to the left, you guys can see that I have my Kira Sky nail lamp, and I also have my McCart nail dust collector, which I love. Just so you guys know, I am going to be giving that away too, because I just... I do all of my filing. First off, I try to keep my filing to a minimum. I feel like you really need a nail dust collector when either you're doing a lot of nails like back to back to back all day or and at that point you probably need like a professional one that's like built into the walls um, or when you're starting out to do your own nails um, because you usually over apply the product and then you have a lot of bulk and you have to file. But once you get into a steady routine and at least for me, once I got into a steady routine and I started to learn how to minimalize my filing, then I didn't need the dust collector anymore. Um, you guys are going to see, spoiler alert, on my updated, re re evolved, renewed <laughs> um, blog site that I'm going to be debuting soon that um, my kids are distracting me, guys. Um Oh, my God. oh, I'm going to be doing like this thing. It's going to be an interactive thing where there will be numbers and you guys can choose from the numbers and you can win prizes. I don't want to tell you everything, but they're like giveaways. But I'm just going to let you guys kind of like pick a number and get your giveaway. I'll tell you guys more about it. But the McCart No Dust Collector is part of that. So that will be awesome. And then over here, this is my sewing session, you guys. I get so much done. I have, like, every single thing I need in here. It's just, it's so amazing. It, like I said, you guys, it's like a palace. So here goes, like, my my quality nail powders that I really love, my acrylic powders. This is my little thing of, like, all the necessities. I got my tip clippers, my nippers, fingernail clippers, and... um poly gel brush all of that these ones are my acrylic brushes i love the 20 the 18 the 12 and the young nails artistic sculptor these are like my collection feels very much complete although i will admit i do want to try a size 8 because femi's always using an 8 and i want to try that one um here is my files and you guys i actually threw in an extra item on the giveaways so there are four giveaways we are going to be discussing those at the end of this video so stay tuned and i was doing this video 
And I was like, hey, that box of panophiles is actually full. I'm going to actually take out a panophile and give them away, like one for each gift be or one for each giveaway because those panophiles are amazing. I love them. And so here I got my label maker. I have a whole bunch of extra top coats, base coats, dip powder stuff. I got some swatching sticks in there. And then at the bottom, I have like all my sewing supplies and some extra miscellaneous stuff stuff these are roses from my birthday they're just so beautiful and you guys are gonna see some of my my artwork this was painted by me i love it and then we have my canvas that i swatched out all of my poly gels from sxc cosmetics i can't wait to fill it up more there we have model ones polishes a little pretty picture by my daughter these are those are actually the Beatles um, dip uh, gel polishes. This painting I did for my room. It's a no foam zone. And then look, you guys, kitty whiskers from my cat pumpkin. And I did adopt a new kitty. Her name is Molly, and she's such a sweetheart. Here we have more artwork all by me. And I did add a little effect to these ones, so enjoy. But these are like. So one time I sprained my ankle and I got very artistic. This one, the top is mine and the bottom is my boyfriend's. And then I, I did the top one of that and he did the bottom. I have a painting that I split with my friend. And then that painting is the original version that inspired this painting right here. And it's just so amazing. I have some drawings. These are from reference. So I did use a reference. If you guys watched my Auntie Love now set, this is the same bear from there. Oh, I love this bear. Honestly, and honest, oh my gosh, I don't want to say honestly because I just said that, but I was looking at his foot to see how I did it wrong, and I finally figured it out. I was like, hallelujah, praise the Lord. I think the next time I draw it, I'm going to get his foot correct. These came out so good. I'm so proud of myself. They're so beautiful. And enjoy this little ASMR moment. By the way, I have way more nails than that. Now. All right, you guys. So here we are finally at the giveaway. Okay. So now we're at the giveaway portion. So the nail room tour is over. Woo! How y'all like that? I am perplexed. I really love it. I love it. I'm so happy. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you guys so much for being here on my journey. I'm so thankful. And I just, it's feeling really good to look back. And I'm so thankful I was in a position to do these giveaways that I did for you guys. And I have plenty of giveaways coming again. Okay. I'm spending on my babies over here at the Goddess King. Um, I noticed that on this, I was able to actually set everything out and like show you guys and I packed everything myself. But for the spam, the spam for spam giveaway, which is still active, I'm still keeping a watch for all the real goddess gang members in the cut. Uh, I don't want to ship that stuff to me and then ship it to you guys because that's going to cost me extra $20, $30 per person, depending on what we're shipping, right? So those are going to come straight from, which I have talked to you guys about, those are going to come straight from those places. Um, so we'll talk more about that, but I just want you guys to still have confidence in the giveaway and all the prizes, despite the fact that I don't have the physical product here. I also have... Um, like what five polishes over there that were for a giveaway uh it was the girl power giveaway but nobody even participated even though people did want to they i, I don't think you guys understood the rules so i'm still working on that um i'm gonna go ahead and upload this video and i'm sorry if my little update was like all over the place but so like me and my boyfriend almost really broke up like on the real because I really just want to be a wife by now. I don't want to be a girlfriend anymore. And it's not that, like, it's just that, like I said, we're trying to live our life starting from nothing. And 
build ourselves up and um, it's definitely been a challenge so just learning how to manage that has been hard but we have been doing well and relationships are tough especially when they're between two attractive people like when you have an ugly girlfriend or boyfriend I guess it could still be hard but it's like when you're both attractive then you both hate each other because you're like who's looking at my man who's looking at my girl (laughs) and then it's like can I just live my life bro like can I just be free and I think it's good to have like trust and transparency and also to mature and evolve through your love and through your interactions together and I think we just had to have a test in our relationship to see how strong it was and luckily it passed the test and we're we're very strong so I'm very thankful for that however Um, It's very hard for me personally to manage my life. Um, And that's just why sometimes it feels good to come on here and talk to you guys like about everything that goes wrong sometimes because I tried. You can fake it till you make it all you want, but it just doesn't make it that fun or doesn't make it that noteworthy in the end or it just doesn't feel that fulfilling. And I don't really want to be on that. So, yeah that's it but i love you guys so much and i thank you for being here on this journey please smash that like button if you like this video i need y'all to help me throw my channel into the algorithm i have been hearing through the grapevine that a lot of people their subscribers are not getting the notifications when they upload and low-key i don't know if you guys always get my notifications but sometimes i I do premieres and I'd be thinking at least one person will show up like at least but I don't see like anyone showing up and I have heard other people like real big YouTubers being pretty mad about that because they have had that problem on their channel so I don't know if it's like my channel because I'm super lame or if it's YouTube but I do know they have like memberships now and they have a whole new algorithm and it's all like AI based and SEO based and all that so with that if you guys don't mind unsubscribing and resubscribing and ringing the notification bell so that we can make sure that everyone's getting their notifications if you get your notifications then don't worry but if you are having trouble with them then I heard that that is a good solution to that problem so if you would like to go ahead and unsubscribe and resubscribe and ring the bell so that we can be notified every single time I upload. If you're a new subscriber or if you're new to my channel and you would like to subscribe, do do that so that you can ring the bell and be notified every single time I upload. I always say that. And otherwise, thank you guys so much for staying with me. And thank you so much for like really um, my true supporters, the ones that direct message me on Instagram and that reach out to me to check on me when we haven't talked in a while and like the ones that update me on your guys' journey via dm and stuff like that i really appreciate all you guys and i see how like we're all growing together and i also i'm thankful that you guys are here to see the actual behind the scenes of my journey not just like my success story or you know the overall outcome in the end but the actual reality of the day-to-day stuff also you guys can dm me or comment but would you guys be interested in maybe a vlog channel where i would upload one or two vlogs because i feel like i have no problem doing that um i spend a lot of time in my workspace and i also have been encountering a lot of troubles like trying to be successful as a nail tuber or as a blogger um as a hobbyist you know what i'm saying whatever you want to call it i run into troubles all the time i might wake up and have my day planned one day and one way and it might go a different way or maybe sometimes i want to show you guys like what i'm really doing like you guys are like what is she doing all day and like um a lot of times people see like the face that i put on when i present myself but they don't really understand like the back end or they might wonder like how do I actually get everything done or how do I actually do all of the different things that I say that I do so if maybe you guys would like some kind of vlog style it would be more like um it wouldn't be like 
a talking vlog or like a in the narrated vlog it would be kind of like a montage vlog where you know i just set the camera down let you all be there with me or whatever you know have the time like the time up on the screen so that you guys can keep track of the time as it goes by and stuff like that and kind of see how i live my life also would be cool because maybe like it would encourage me to choose to spend that time more wisely or to do different things i don't know um so that's something i would love to do also 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 so because my boyfriend got on my nerves and he's on my bad side no he's on my good side but um because he loves me i'll just say that um he's gonna be doing the video i promised you guys a long time ago with me um who knows who better so i'm super excited i already know the first question i'm asking him i'm gonna ask it first because if he gets it right i'm gonna be like okay if he gets it wrong be like bruh <laughs> he said he's nervous he don't want to do it that. i was like it's all for fun it's not i don't care if you get it wrong it's not that big of a deal but i feel like i can make it relatively easy by just including a lot of the questions that I answer in my videos like recently I told you guys like two of my favorite coffees like stuff like that but my boyfriend be trying to act like he don't ever pay attention and then it's like the stuff he does pay attention to is like oh my gosh out of everything you pay attention to so oh can you guys please if you're watching this if you're reading this it's too late you guys, I love this color of this little lipstick that I have on and everything and this lip liner, but it don't got a stain in effect, so it be wearing out quick and easy. No. All right. If you're reading this, it's too late. No, if you're reading this, please go to Instagram at scorpiongoddessnose.com. I mean, dot com, dot blog. No, <laughs> just go to at scorpiongoddessnose on Instagram. And can you please DM me and tell me some questions that I should ask my boyfriend? Because you guys pretty much know me and like, y'all, I want, I also want y'all to get involved because I want it. If your question gets picked and you get to see like how everything plays out, that's going to be super fun. So please DM me some questions. Uh, I'm going to have to put a video, I mean, a um, post up too, so I can get you guys to remember, but. I still, like, if there's anybody that wants to work together and be, like, more or less an assistant um, to help me with, like, coordination, um, planning, I really need help. But um, I'm not a, I, like, I really do need help, but I'm very, I'm not really desperate. So I really kind of do have, like, uh, like, I have a thing, like, where I want to make sure that we can work well together and fluidly however it's also not at the top of my priority list because i want to learn how to do this so anyways you guys please send prayers because i definitely need them and if you really are looking for an opportunity to kind of just expand and grow together hit me up in the dms so we can collab and um you guys are gonna see my videos later <sighs> pray for me y'all because I definitely need it like 100% need it um I'm super 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 excited for everything the future holds I know that once I kind of like there's this threshold and you kind of got to break through it just like when a woman gives birth to a baby and the baby has to well I gave birth to my daughter and my son but when my daughter I gave birth to her by myself and um you know the babies they got their head has to you know break through your vaginal no, 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 right? And it's, it has to like through, like it's not like oh pop out. No, it's like like that. You have to break through that threshold, and that's where I am. I'm trying to do that. So send prayers, you guys. I love you guys so much. I have to go because this camera doesn't have that much storage like that camera, and I'm gonna figure all that out. Until then, I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Oh, and I'm gonna be uploading back to 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 back. So y'all have plenty to watch over the weekend. I love you guys so much. Holly, y'all. Peace. Oh,